Bowman here from BW1.com. We're going to do an unboxing of the Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. It's the last of the four big Galaxy S3s here we're going to unbox. We've unboxed the other three as well. You can, you can pretty much see a, a common theme here. They're all pretty much the same, but I'm still going to unbox it here for you. We'll go ahead and slide. Let's see, is there a piece of plastic on that side? Nope. Go ahead and slide open here. Box. There we go. See there. Pop up here. Looks like we have the Sprint version right here. Looks like they might have activated it for us already. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here. What else do we have? Let's see if they got it right this time. Put some put some blue headphones in here. You have to get started, guy. You know you're not reading that. Micro USB cable, charging and syncing, of course. The wall adapter for charging and extra headphone earpieces and still white headphones. You would hope they would maybe match it with the blue here. I just don't get it. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, let's go ahead and continue on here with the unboxing. Still have the 4.8 inch display, so it's HD um, Super AMOLED display with uh, 1280 by 720 uh, P resolution. Have the 1.9 megapixel front facing camera. You got your sensors here in the front. You have your one physical button here. Then you have your, which should be your, um, here at the bottom should be your menu and back. You can see here volume, you can see power, 8 megapixel camera with 1080p HD video capture, zero shutter lag, speaker, LED flash, and right up here at the top, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and a micro USB port here at the bottom. Go ahead and pop this door off here. Have your 2100 milliamp hour battery, and you have your SIM card, I mean, I'm sorry, micro SD card slot here. This one doesn't have a SIM card slot um, available on it. It's um, just, this, this is actually one of the only ones that has 4 GLT that won't have a SIM card attached, uh, SIM card uh, slot available to it. The other three do have that uh, capability here. Well, the HSPA T-Mobile one actually doesn't, but that one just has a regular SIM card, but the AT&T and, um, and Verizon versions have a LTE SIM card. This does have 4G LTE inside of it here. We'll have to gonna go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and sign in here. Go ahead and sign up my account here just real quick. All right, see we're here inside. We're running Android 4.0, which is basically ice cream sandwich with TouchWiz on top of it with Nature UX. It's what they call it here. Let's see we have a pre-installed software, Sprint Hotspot, Sprint Zone voicemail. We have Google Wallet support in here, so that could be important for some people out there. So you got something called more services that you can jump into. Samsung apps here. Um, you saw the chat on pre-install Flipboard and stuff like that. Let's see for widgets here. Similar stuff. Similar stuff that you've seen on most of them out here. Still have it home there, and you still have the same uh, notification sections here. What I like about this is the Wi-Fi button here at the top. The Verizon one has it sort of right here, and it's always sort of an ongoing task. It's a little bit annoying. I would say, but um, it looks like a Sprint Zone and a Samsung account set up and a Sprint Zone update and 12 more updates to apps found. So we'll definitely get all that stuff updated. But it's just a quick look here at it. It is running a uh, 1.2 gigahertz, um, I'm sorry, 1.5 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S4 processor inside of it with two gigabytes of RAM. And um, this is the, should be the 16 gigabyte version. It's 16 and 32 gigabytes available. And you have it available in, uh, on Sprint, I believe, is on blue and, and white versions of each one only that you can get on there. And right now, the LTE isn't activated unless you're in an LTE market. So right now, you're going to be on 3G until you get 4G. But this is just a quick look at it here. We'll definitely give you a full review of the Sprint version of Samsung Galaxy S3. And to make sure you check, be able to check that out, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page here. and. Make sure you hit us up on all the social networks from Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Also thumb up this video as well too. And uh, links to all that social um, media accounts and more, it's in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.